Okay, you want to take this one? Um, yeah. So this is basically... Oh, boy. This Marxist that is <laughs> loving... This, this racist Marxist that is loving capitalism right now. Loving it. By uh, buying four high-end homes. <laughs> Inside BLM <laughs> co-founder Patrice Kahn Kohler's million-dollar real estate buying bench, the title mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. So, never mind using this money to help the communities and help with furthering education of, you know, poor black people or whatever. No, 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 no. I want to buy big-ass homes. <laughs> right here, the self-described Marxist last month purchased a $1.4 million home in a secluded uh, on a secluded road, a short drive from Malibu. Oh, God. In, in L.A., according to a report. L.A. is expensive as yeah. fuck. Oh, it's $1.4 million. Yeah, the 2,370-foot uh, square foot home. Wow, let me reread that. The 2,370-square-foot <laughs> property. Features soaring ceilings, skylights, and plenty of windows with canyon views. Jeez. Oh, the Topanga Canyon homestead, which includes two houses on a quarter acre, is just one of three. One of three homes that she, she owns in the L.A. area. She public records three shows. homes. Some fellow activists are taken aback by the real estate revel revelations. They, no they really, kidding. Yeah, they really need to fucking call her out on that bullshit. Like, George Floyd died so that you could buy three $1.4 million homes, bitch. Yep. yep. I'll say it. I'll call her a fucking bitch. See, they're just... They're, they're using... <laughs> She's using the tragedy the of of his death. I'm, I mean, yeah, it sucks that he died. I'm, I'm it it does, you know. All, all these people that have died, it sucks, and I don't I don't like it. But now they're using that death to get money to get donations. And this Marxist who hates capitalism is buying homes using capitalism. <laughs> If Don't. you go around calling yourself a socialist, you have to ask how much of her own personal money is going to charitable causes. Uh huh. Mm. It's really sad because it makes people doubt the validity validity of the movement and overlook the fact that it's the people wait. that carry this movement. No wait, wait. shit. Wait, 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 wait. They're finally starting to question the validity of the Black Lives Matter yeah, movement. Yeah, really. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. My <laughs> There you go. My head just My exploded. mind's been blown. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. How dare you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ike. Ike, can you bring can you uh, bring us up just you and I for really, really quick? Yes. Sir. Can we get the biggest piece of, sh piece of shit award? Oh, let's do it. Yay! <laughs> Lady uh, con coolers con colors whatever the fuck your name is oh, we, you are a big piece of shit we also need to do this one too we can run this as well yeah that is one big pile of shit Bitches yeah make me sick <laughs> yeah i didn't originally have it that but yeah she she can take that one too because you didn't have one this week so no i didn't <laughs> but uh I, I will gladly give her that title that award god damn Wow. They don't care. See, this is the thing. The, these these people, they they don't they they don't actually really care. There this is a way for them to use outrage and to use people's emotions to make money. And it's this proves it right here. <laughs> God. Let's see. So, hang on. So she, uh, can you oh, bring sorry. that article back? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Con Colliers began uh, her buying spree in L.A. in 2016, which is when it really started taking off. I'm going to roll this up a, a bit. Yeah, there a few go. years after the civil rights movement, she started from a hashtag Black, Black Lives Matter with fellow activists Alicia Garza and Opal Tometi uh, began to gain traction around the world. That year, she bought a three-bedroom, one-and-a-half-bath home in Inglewood, for half a million 
It is now worth nearly 800000 Damn. Uh, Con Coolier has added her wife, the co-founder of Black Lives Matter in Canada, uh, Ma- Black hold Lives on. Movement in Canada, hold on, hold on, to the deed. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold, shit. Whoa. I did what whoa. did I do? No. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on, hold on. I was going to highlight something here. We are uh, professionals here, folks. Down a little bit. Here. Down a little bit. Right there. No, Keep this there. is it right here. Con Coolier has added her wife. That right. Like I'm, I'm, <laughs> the co-founder of of Black Lives Movement Canada to the deed in a family trust last year. The couple married in 2016. They're liter- they're literally parodies of themselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then in 2018, she bought a four bedroom home in South Los Angeles, a multi ethnic neighborhood. What does that even mean? <laughs> uh, she paid. Five hundred ninety thousand. Uh, although the price has since, since climbed to seven hundred twenty thousand. Yeah, so she's she is taking advantage of capitalism very much. She she really likes capitalism, even though she's a, supposedly a Marxist. What is it you live when it's uh, when you when you live long enough to see yourself become the uh, enemy? <laughs> So we're fighting. We're fighting against something that I'm benefiting from. Cheers. Exactly. Again, they don't. People like this, they don't care. They don't. They don't really care about these issues. Once no, they, they start getting money, once they have money, it's it's fine. Just keep capitalizing off people's I'm, pain. I'm fighting for you, so it's okay that I'm using the system that we're fighting against. Yeah. Right. You get to live in poverty, but I'm going to sit here in my $1.5 million mansion. Yep. You plebs. <laughs> Fucking NPCs. Yeah, that's right. Jesus Christ. I don't want to live on this planet anymore.